Okay, so starting off, what I want to do is optimize our texture here a little bit. Now we have plenty of space on this, but it's a good practice to optimize. So since we don't need any of this space, what I'm going to do is First off, um, change the fall off to flat and turn off anti-aliasing. And we'll leave a little bit of a margin here. All right, and then if we save this image, we can go back here and click on revert. The same image we just saved, and there we go. So, put this in here. Okay. Let's overwrite that. Go back into Blender. Reload. And everything's messed up, but we can fix that. So all we have to do is uh, turn off snapping. Snapping on from the previous video. Okay, here we go. Okay, so our character is bald. Uh, let's give them some hair. And how we're gonna do that, first off, pick a color for the hair. For the time being, I'm just going to start off. Real simple. Okay, so reload this and there we go. Now he's just got the the Vegeta hairline. Here we go. Actually, eh. There we go, Vegeta. Anyway, <clears throat> so, don't know why that's like that. That's unnecessary. Unnecessary. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I moved those back, that's why. <laughs> Thought it was like that from the beginning. Um, now, what do we do with the front here? So, That's not too bad. 
Now, if we wanted to add, to use uh, two different colors though, let's do this. Okay, so now we have choices we can make. So if we go to texture paint, actually, we can create a palette here. And let's see, we want anti-alias off, and we want this to be flat, the fall off. And oh yeah, one thing we didn't do in the previous video. These are not the same colors as these because in color management over here on the right, we need to select standard instead of uh, filmic. Filmic's for more realistic things. Didn't notice that until um, after the video though. So um, let's see. Now that we got that, we can select colors off of our model and they should be the same. Um, oops. So, add that to the palette. And we can add this hair here and it's very flat and kind of crap. So, instead of doing it that way, what we can do is first off, kind of give a little more volume to this hair. And if we do this here, extrude, scale zero, and then we'll need to remove those extras. Actually, quick note on that. So when I extrude and scale by zero here, that means they're all, all of these are, are going into the same spot and then they're doubled up. So we remove by distance using M and now we only have one point here to select. So, all right. Um, go back to UV editing, fix that and fix that. All right, so actually that, um, I mean, uh, it's kind of obvious what we're going for here with the, the spikiness. So we might as well go all in with the spikiness. Uh, usually you do want to plan out the hair a bit more. Um, but we can give this character some, some spiky bangs. So let's try this actually. So any of these that are facing up, I'm using the lighter color here. Uh, this is looking ridiculous. That's okay. Yeah, 
yeah, if you make a drawing of what you want the hair to look like beforehand, that's usually the best thing to go off of. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so obviously we had to go with some kind of uh, some kind of spiked hair here because you know it's classic. Uh, spiky hair is kind of a little tricky for me, uh, <laughs> um, you, but yeah, drawing a reference uh, or having a reference first is very useful in this. So I would definitely do that first if you're gonna try to do, um, well, if you're trying to do this at all, probably you want at least uh, to know what you're aiming for. I didn't really aim for anything specific here. So let's save this as hair one. And now we're actually going to undo that go back to our original and we're gonna go for a different type of style so I'm gonna do the same exact thing here Okay, and I'm gonna save this as hair base. Okay, so, all right, so let's add some bangs. unwrap here. Make this about the same general size. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to only to the selected area add in this color here. Just a solid color. And then we save this. This will be easier to do oops, here. Oops. Uh, I can't revert it because. Uh, revert. Come on. Revert. There we go. Okay. So I can tr we can try something like this. Let's add an alpha channel. Delete that.
All right, so that gives us this. Now, um, this is an issue and we can fix that actually. So instead of doing this, we'll need to go back to here, and do that. Change this to alpha clip. And this is gonna need shaded smooth with absolute rough. Well, you know, we can actually just Yeah, we'll fix the shading later. But right now, um Select this top area. We can kind of see what we need to do here. So Side here. Let's line these up, and what we'll do is fill these in with this shade. No, actually. This shade here. And then save here, go back here and revert. do real quick is kind of match the shading that we need for this hair so And again, this is one of those things that if you plan it out, it looks a little better. So that's kind of how you do bangs though. <laughs> So here we have two separate ways to do different hairstyles. You can, of course, combine these, and uh, this could use some shadows here. But uh, yeah, there we go. 